It allows you to take any image, select two points or more, and the image will automatically be manipulated to fit those points. Drag Your GAN has finally been released, the actual code for it, and you can use it right now on your computer. It's not easy. The documentation is wrong in many areas. The setup script is broken, and overall, it's quite buggy. But I figured it out, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go. This video is brought to you by Rosebud. Rosebud is an AI-powered journaling app that helps you self-reflect and create a personalized path to fulfillment. I focus a lot on my mental health, and one of the best things that I've done for that is journaling. I use Rosebud, and I encourage you to try it out. Click the link in the description to start journaling today with Rosebud. Now, if you remember, here's the demo of Drag your GAN. It allows you to take any image, select two points or more, and the image will automatically be manipulated to fit those points. Look at some of these examples. It's pretty cool. They also provide a collab version, which of course, I can't get to work. So I'm excited for the open source community to really get their hands on this and get it in a much more stable state. But for now, we're gonna get it working. So we're gonna need Conda installed. And of course, if you've walked through any of my previous videos, you know I love Conda and you should have it installed. If you don't, go ahead and Google how to install Conda and get that installed. And Conda just makes it super easy for us to manage Python environments. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna be using my Mac, but I also got it working on Windows in a very similar way. So you should, for the most part, be able to follow along on Windows. Now I can tell already since I've been testing this, they're updating the documentation because, because there was an incorrect command right here and it was broken from the get-go. Now I figured this out, but they've already updated the documentation, so that's great. We're gonna scroll to the top of the page. We're gonna find this little green code button. We're gonna click it and we're gonna copy the URL found here. Switch back to your terminal. Then we're gonna clone the repository and then hit enter. Once you do that, you're gonna change directory into drag GAN. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the new conda environment and the authors were kind enough to create an environment.yml file that sets up everything for us now now previously they tried to include setting the python version from this command but that didn't work so i'm glad that they updated the documentation now let's run this conda env create dash f environment.yml enter and you're going to see the first issue so it says resolve package not found these are two packages that it cannot find so to fix this we're going to open up visual studio code now from visual studio code open up the drag gan folder and then we're going to open up the environment.yml file the first thing you need to do is delete the CUDA toolkit line. That's line 14 in the current version. Just delete that altogether. And we won't need the CUDA toolkit for Mac because that's for NVIDIA graphics cards only. Now, if you're running this on Windows, make sure to install the CUDA toolkit. 11.1 is the version that they recommend and I couldn't get that to work. I couldn't actually find that version. So you can use version 11.3.1, I believe it is. And of course you can also use the CUDA command to find out which versions are available. The next thing we have to do is remove the SciPy line from the dependencies and then put it down in the pip area of the dependencies. Now you do have to change one thing. Rather than a single equals, you have to make it a double equals and then save. Then then we're going to run this again conda env create dash f environment.yml all right it's finished so now we're going to activate the environment conda activate style gan3 that is the name that the environment.yml file gave us and then we just hit enter and we know it's activated because it shows it right there switching back to the github repo we're going to do pip install dash r requirements but that is also wrong because it needs to be requirements.txt i hope they update the documentation with that so we're going to add the txt on the end pip install dash r requirements.txt enter okay and it looks like we got a little error but i think we can ignore that if i remember correctly now the next thing we have to do is enable fallbacks for mps mps is basically apple's version of cuda it allows you to use the gpu to power a lot of this but it doesn't work right now so we have to make sure we're able to fall back and use the cpu so to do that we're going to export this variable export pytorch enable mps fallback equals one Enter. Next, we have to download the pre-trained models. So to do that, we're gonna type Python scripts slash download model dot pi. Hit enter. 
and this one should work no problem. This may take a little while because these models are pretty big. And I should mention, they have models for different types of subjects of the images. So they have one for dogs, for horses, for humans. And that's really important as you're selecting the image you wanna use, you wanna make sure you have the associated model for it. That's the way to get it to work best. So we can see here it's downloading one for lions, for dogs, horses, elephants. Okay, there it's done. Switching back to the GitHub repo, switching back to the GitHub repo to run the GUI, we run sh scripts slash GUI.sh. Now I couldn't get this to work. There's currently an open issue with a lot of people who are experiencing the same thing. Let me show you what happens. So I try to run it and I get this segmentation fault along with Python 3.9 quit unexpectedly. So I get that every single time I try to run it. It is an open issue, so hopefully they fix it soon. The workaround for that is to run this Python Gradio visualizer. So it's Python visualizer underscore drag underscore Gradio dot pi and then just hit enter. And there it is running on local URL. So we're gonna highlight this URL right here, I'm gonna copy it and then we're gonna switch over to it. And so here it is. This is running on my local machine, drag GAN. Now in the top left, you can see the pre-trained models available. You can try out different ones. Horses, elephants, lions, dogs, they have humans, cats, car. I think they have a generalized one as well. You can have different settings and I haven't played around with these settings much. I'm just trying to get this to work. So let's test it out. So let's say I wanna take this lion, I want it to start right there and I'm gonna pull her head down to there. So then I'm gonna click start and there it goes. How cool is that? And it tells you the step number it's on. And if we switch back to terminal, we can actually see each step running. Now, another bug that I ran into is once it goes over step 100, it stops incrementing. And if we switch back, the steps are still incrementing. So nothing is changing anymore. So. I'm not sure if it's actually working or not. So previously I've just stopped it, but I'll let it go a little while longer to see if it does stop at a certain step. But this definitely worked. You saw the head moving and it looks fantastic. Now I should also mention when I got this working on my Windows machine, it was clear that my GPU was not powering it. It was just the CPU. So I'm still trying to figure out how to get this to work fully with a GPU on Windows. And right now Metal on OS X doesn't seem to be working either. All right, so the steps keep incrementing I don't know when it's gonna end, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click stop. Then you can download it by clicking this button right here, and there's the new image right there. Now to remove the points, you just click this reset points and it's right there. So let's try one more thing. I want her face to move inwards a little bit more. Let's run it. There it is moving. It's so cool. And look, now she's even sitting and she's standing back up, so awesome. So I'll go ahead and click stop there, and let's try the cat now. Here's a cat, I want the cat's eye to be open a little bit more, start. And there it is, working. So, so cool. All right, next, I'll hit stop. Let's try one more, and here's the human. FFHQ is the human one. So let's say I want a bigger smile and I want the head to rotate this way a little bit. Let's see if that works. Yep, there it goes, bigger smile. You could start to see the bottom teeth a little bit more. Now I don't see her head turning yet. So I don't know if I just leave it on, it'll continue to do it, but let's see. I'm gonna click stop. I'm gonna reset the points and I'm going to try to turn her head this way, start. Now this doesn't seem to be working. So let me stop it. I'm gonna reset the points again, and I'm gonna see what happens if I open the bottom lip a little bit like that. Start. Now this is definitely working. A much bigger smile, a little bit creepy to be honest, but it seems to work really, really well. Look at that. All right, so now you know how to get it installed. You know how to get it working. You know how to play around with it. As soon as this becomes more stable, I'll probably put together another tutorial video about how to use it. But for now, play with it. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.